Hey! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome. Tonight is the final of the Swedish competition of who we're gonna send to the Eurovision Song Contest in Germany in May. And today we're gonna keep it simple, no green screen and no just basic setup. Bam! And we're gonna walk through all the 10 songs and I'm gonna give you my opinion on what I think about them and maybe their chances both in the competition tonight and potentially the competition in uh, Europe and Germany. And uh, I, I told you I was going to do an interpretation and a few of you thought that I was going to do singing. Just imagine trying to do 10 different songs. So I did a, a very different interpretation uh, which is more visual and still. Bam! Okay, so song number one is In the Club by Danny. The first song to reach the final and extremely repetitive but also very catchy song. It might do, it probably do very well on the dance floor. Song number two in the final is Spring for Leave It by Sora Varga, Run For Your Life which made it out of last week's second chance round. This song is kind of tricky. It's a slow, you know, jazzy ballad which deals with violence against women. So it's kind of those, oh, don't make fun of that, which I can. I really like the song. It has a really weird contrast of being very light and easy, but when you listen to the text, if you know Swedish, it's not like that. Song number three is Oh My God by the moniker. Also made it out of last week's second chance round and this song has really grown on me this might be a potential he's walking on this you know moving treadmill thing and there's mushrooms in the back it's very 60s very you know stone bam stuff um i wouldn't mind at all if this one it would be fun to see we would probably get the austrian the belgian and the lithuania votes <laughs> and they're like what do you mean what do you mean ah you figure it out Song number four is Seven Days and Seven Nights by Brolla. Brolla, Brolla, who made it out of the second round, directly to the final. This song is tricky, tricky. Brolla is, is very folksy here in Sweden, but he also has this very elvish y uh, American rock, uh, traditional rock style, which last time we sent someone like that, the song was called Las Vegas, it totally went down, because that was like back in, you know, very early in the Iraq invasion war and you know United States in Europe not super uh, super uh, you know positive uh, and uh, so it just went really bad so nah, I'm not sure the song is weird because he sings about I don't care if you leave me it's all right because we had a great love and we're just like what what the Song number five is Linda Bengtsson's It May Day Faithful, is a, it, Am I the Problem? And the song is about a woman who has the perfect life, the perfect husband, but she wants more. She wants more, more, more! See what I did there? Uh, I don't think this is gonna have a chance in hell in the final. It might get a lot of votes because she is very folksy and known, but mm, no, probably not. Song number six is Nicky Bohr, Leaving Home, which is the only ballad if you don't count the second one, which is more like jazz. This might have a good shot. It's kind of an underdog here. Uh, you know, a big, very tattooed guy, like, -da 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 -da. he has uh, projected mirrors, uh, screens on stage. It might, I think it's gonna do pretty well. It's also a very catchy song, so we'll see what happens with that. Song number seven is Me and My Drum by Swingfly, who also made it out of the first round to the final. And this song, I don't know, I've never heard of this artist before, but a lot of people tend to, if you look at the comments from the previous videos, so, I don't know, I don't really, really, really like the song, it's very French. If you know Eurovision, you might say, oh, he's right, he's very French. So, no, not a good favorite for mine. Song number eight is I'm In Love by Sana Nielsen and she has also been in this competition over and over and over. She basically bases her entire career on being in this competition and this is my least favorite to win because the song is so 15 years ago, ugh. Uh, and, and she starts out the number by dancing in an uh, orgasmatron, you know, the thing that you scratch your head with, that's what she's dancing in and she does the... No, 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 no. Song number nine is The King by the Plato's, a local band from around here. And to be honest, I've, I've, I've 
set this in the video. This is my favorite song. But, but, no way in hell are we gonna send these out in Europe. This is also kind of an Americanized, very uh, 1950s, late, late 50s, early 60s, they're playing the, the rock and roll or Jerry Lewis. Da, 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 da. But for me, it's the best song. I know a lot of people who are younger than me, <laughs> all of you except Tony. Uh, we'll think like, what the hell are you thinking? We should go in the club, in the club, or something else. But uh, for me, it's my favorite song, but I don't want us to send that to Europe. Sorry. Give it like a second spot. The last song, the 10th song, is popular by Eric Sader, probably one of the favorites to win. He was in this competition last year where he sang Man Born. Uh, where he ended up very high up, I think he was second, third, second or third. And uh, back then he did a he kind of he was standing in a waterfall and this year he walks into a glass cage and it and he blows up the glass is very dramatic. Um, you're probably not gonna agree with me on this one either, but the sound of the song reminds me so much about Alice Cooper's trash album. And you'll be like, what? But it does. I don't know, there's something about it. Probably one of the favorites to win. It would be interesting to see that in the final. But let me know what you think. If this is before the final, let me know who are your favorites to win. And if this is after the street final, let me know what the hell did you think about the results? What was your list? Join me and a bunch of other people on the live stream. The link is down here. We tweet using the hashtag, hashtag Mel2011. And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. This is the last video, so let's make it count. What are your favorites and what did you think about the results? Bye. But